bones try to understand. A real duck is solid, solid, solid. It's not made of rubber. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful, majestic Alps. Vacationists from all parts of the world visit here. Sometimes the temperature drops far below zero, and sometimes it takes a rugged individual to withstand the cold. in the snow-capped Alps, and a friendly neighbor can be mighty useful. Madly! Madly! You don't go! Soon we'll be arriving the people! Hurry, with the skis! Okay, boss. Uh, I'm working real fast, like. See? He's a sensitive type. Gotta know how to handle him. <laughs> The 
boss frowns on coal nappers. <laughs> Au revoir! That's goodbye in French. <laughs> This job takes a lot of know-how. Gotta be on your toes all the time. Hey, well, what are you doing? Wow, there's no telling what a cold penguin will do. So I better keep my eyes wide open and be sharp and alert. gets hungry, I just naturally think of my favorite dish, woodpecker. Mm -hmm. I got to think of a device to get that bird down here. This calls for research. Crimes and criminals I have known. Ah, the Red Riding Hood caper. <laughs> it's a natural. Dear grandson Woody, when you coming to see your poor old sick granny, I hunger <laughs> for your company. Hi. Hello. Where are you going? 
Well, uh, like the book says, I'm going to Granny's house. That's a coincidence. I'm going to Granny's house, too. Ah, uh, goodbye. Huh? Granny's house, too? Oh, I love woodpecker baked or fried, barbecued or frickin' fried. Uh-oh, I got to do something about that tail. That's better. Who's there? It's me, your grandson, Woody Woodpecker. Uh, doggone. Come in. Greetings, Granny. Your troubles are over, because I am here. Oh, how true. How true. Oh, a nice watermelon. Uh, is this like, uh, where Granny lives? Yes, but she's busy now. Come back later. Here's some flowers I brought you, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you? Uh, how's that again, Granny? <laughs> Aren't you? Hold these a minute. <laughs> Aren't you? I can't place the face, but the tail looks familiar. <laughs> Aren't you? You got a chance to 
magic words. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. Igga bigga, igga digga, igga bigga stew. We now present today's charming speaker, Miss Bettina Blabber. Oh, thank you. My lecture today shall pertain to the cult of voodooism. <laughs> Telegram for Mrs. Bettina Blabber. Quiet, young man. I'm on the air. <laughs> uh, voodoo is still practiced in the more primitive regions. Ah, fooey. In fact, certain alligators have been known to practice this witchcraft to obtain food. Hogwash. One side, sister. Voodoo, schmoodoo. Voodoo is a big fake. Oh, yeah? I'll stick him with a little black magic. Ouch! What was that? Now, as I was saying, voodoo is for the birds. Whoops. Oh, this is most embarrassing. Now I'll give him my triple whammy. <laughs> and now, my little Doubt and Thomas, cocktail for two. <laughs> Laugh at old Gabby, will you? <laughs> now I'm getting hungry for a woodpecker stew. Come to me, my little pigeon. Now, as I was saying... Coming, master. <laughs> Boy, that woodpecker's gonna taste good. No, thank you. Voodoo brew, toil and trouble, kettle start to boil and bubble. Well, let's not overdo it. Coming, coming, master, coming, master. Yo, oh boy, here he comes. I better put another jolt in him. <laughs> Step right in. Hey, where am I? What happened? You dirty double crosser? Zoe, so, I'm wise to your game. Goodbye. Man, I gotta work fast. And 
And now, in conclusion, I say, don't make a voodoo boo-boo. <laughs> I made a funny. Ah, dry up. <laughs> Like I said, voodoo is for the birds. Timberland Mountains, the tallest living thing on earth, surrenders to the call of the mighty lumberjack. Timber! Lumberjacking is a very strenuous job that taxes every muscle of the body and can sometimes be a mental strain as well, causing forest fatigue spots before the eyes and the wibbly wobbles. When this happens, the unstrung tree chopper must pack his gear and hit out for a quiet place to rest. Smedley's rest home, two miles. Oh boy! When I get to the rest home, I take hot bath to fix up the nervous breakdown. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. Dum -de -dum. Uh oh, a customer coming in. Come in, sir. I want a nice quiet room with no noise. Yes, sir. I got to have plenty of rest. Because I am just a bundle of seat nerves. Now bring the bags and we go upstairs to the room. Here you are, sir. Nice soft bed, private bath, and a refrigerator full of goodies. Have a nice quiet rest, sir. A little peace and quiet will fix him up just fine. What's the matter, sir? I pour the milk, I turn around, it's gone. What? I better go to bed now. I need the rest. I hope he's not too mad. I'll get you some food to quiet your nerves. Huh? Oh no, it can't be. It is. Oh boy. Oh, 
I'll make a fire and thaw you out. There we are. Oh, gosh. In about another half hour, he'll be coming back down. I better get out of here. I guess he's real man. <laughs> you saved my life, Chili. What do you have for a reward? Oh, a glass of milk. Milk? Yes, glass of milk. Hmm, <laughs> you like milk? Yes, I like. Wait here, Chili. I'll get a glass of milk. picture in the high school paper. Listen to this. Charles Berry Jr. has been elected cheerleader and Susie Berry will be new majorette in high school band. Isn't that just fine, Charlie? Yes, dear. I guess. Someday I'm gonna... Daddy, you wanna watch me twirl my baton? All right, sweetheart. Ow! <laughs> Daddy broke my baton! Mother! Daddy broke my baton! Well, I... 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 Why don't you learn to control your temper? Ooh, he's the Ra, ra, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a rat trap. Yay, train. I'll just play that back. Ra, ra, rickety rack. Go get a rat trap bigger than a cat trap. Go get a cat trap bigger than a cat trap. Yeah. that thing. Rah, rah, rackety zoom. Hit that line, lower the boom, turn the crank, pull the lever. Union High goes on forever. Ah. 
Stop! Rackety rack a rack a rack. Stop! Stop! Charlie, stop that yelling. You're disturbing the whole neighborhood. Me? I wasn't. It, it, it. Don't try to blame it on Junior. I saw you. I've had enough of this. Junior, get me out of here. Coming, Tom. Now look what you did. Pull this thing off of me. Junior, you better do something. Be right back, Pop. Dig this crazy hi-fi. Now get me out of here. Coming 
Master Scrooge? When I want something, I want it fast. The pay is served, sir. Stop that infernal chatter and put the sugar in. Yes, sir. One donkey, two donkey. One donkey is enough, you numbskull. You think money grows on trees? I have a feeling dear old Uncle Scrooge will welcome me with open arms. Ah, there's Uncle Scrooge's house. He has a path leading right to his door. How oh, nice. <laughs> I hear bells, sir. Yeah. I'm Scrooge's nephew. Step aside. Oh, uh, Unky, I'm here. It's me, your little nephew, Woody. Good news, Unky. I'm moving in with you.
Florida, known for its many sites of historical importance, such as the famous Cape Canaveral and Okie Dokie Swamp. Here lives the hungriest denizen of the Everglades, Gabby Gator. Man, I'm starving. This is a chef of bologna. I'm going to show you how to prepare a one fine fowl meal. First, you pick a one fine plump chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you add a plenty chef of bologna sauce. Don't that look yummy? <laughs> I can't stand no more of that. This is David Fussy Kind presenting Closed End. We have with us that famous Hollywood star of stage, screen, and television, Woody Woodpecker. Woody has volunteered to be the first woodpecker shot into outer space. Man, he'd make a fine woodpecker stew. In one hour, Woody will be at Cape Canaveral. Oh, he will, will he? This old water tower will make a dandy space rocket. Well, well, here I am in Florida. Cape Canaveral. This way. No, that way. Well, that's an odd switch. of the component parts. Top side, the nose cone, of course. The fifth stage rocket, now that follows the fourth stage. And the incinerator is to decinerate the afterburner. And this is the air cooling system. Oh, boy. I bet this rocket makes a lot of rackets. And here is the main part, where the pilot fries. Uh, uh, lies. Gee, I can't wait for the takeoff. Right away, son. Hop in and start the countdown. Okay, General, see you on the boat. <laughs> I'm going to eat that wood back on you. Oh, boy. Man, he's going to taste good. <laughs> I must have forgot to pay my gas bill this year. And I ain't got no quarter. Hey, General, when's the takeoff? Oh, that was just a dry run. First, you got to pass the rigid space fitness test. Now, this is the atmospheric resistance chamber. Hop right in, boy. Anything for science, General. Fine. Now we'll accelerate the tenderizer. I mean, pressurizer. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that wood back on the hill. Oh, boy. Man, he... Now what's wrong? Doggone it. Nothing works around here. Okay, Buster. I passed that test. Not so fast, boy. Now you gotta take a whirl in the centrifugal atmospheric survival tank. Yeah. These are space reduction pellets to decastify your corpuscle so you won't come unglued in outer space. Thank you, General. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that one back on hit you. million and 25 cents. And I'm short just one quarter. Well, why didn't you say so? Here's a quarter. We'll have you fly it in no time. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five,
what happened. Where am I? Fellas, after ice, I win. No penguins allowed on the premises, son. Run along, boy. Adios. Adios means goodbye in French. I'm a hunter, and I want a room. Yes, sir. And I don't want to be bothered. Yes, sir. And if I am, I'll blast you like this. <laughs> you understand? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That boy has a temper. That bellboy smadly speaking. Send up my baggage right away. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. That's you know who. Tasmanian devil. That's the worst kind. Smadly speaking. I told you to bring up my baggage. Yes, sir. You numbskull! Your baggage, sir. Don't stand there. Unpack them, hang up my clothes, polish my boots, and get my dinner and be quick about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out you go, boy. Speaking. I can't get another one. I'm a figure. Don't say you've caught me, Mr. Blue. Say you're a terrible to do. 
Don't worry, sir. I'll take care of it. Hell yeah, I can love you, 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 you. Your goose is cooked, boy. Now you're gonna get, whoops. Come back here, boy. I've got you surrounded. Smartly speaking. They don't have a hit. Bring up my lunch, or I'll break every bone in your hide. Yes, sir. Lunch coming right up, sir. <laughs> Here it is, sir. Your lunch. Surprise! Surprise! Come and see the big surprise! What is it, Charlie? Yeah. What you got, Pop? Show it to us, Daddy! Ta -da! Ta -da! Oh, how nice! Oh, boy! TV! Oh, ho, ho, goody, goody! Miss Marshall, what do you want that to show? Who oh, turn it on, Daddy? <laughs> It's broken! I want to see a show! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I paid $300 and all I get is zigzag lines. Well, I'll be a rock and and make it on a four flex and four on a four flex and a stock break on. What did the man say, Charlie? He says we need an antenna on the roof, and they cost $25. Well, we better have them put one up there. Oh, no, we won't. I will do it myself and save $25. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for gosh. <laughs> Junior! Get me out of here! Whoa! You big nut! Look what you did to my ladder! Thank <laughs> you. 
You asked for it. Who?
dear. I was experimenting with... Uh, oh. <laughs> Come, I show you other experiments what I do. I cross things. I cross a pine with an apple and I get a pineapple. Then I cross a double-decker bat with a duck egg and I get a double-decker duck. And then I cross the street with a chicken and... I get a bunion. Oh, but now I am ready for my greatest crossing. I am going to cross this ape with something. <coughs> don't do that. But what should I cross this ape with? <laughs> I don't know yet. <coughs> I say, don't do that. You, you smart alecky. <laughs> Now, who can that be? Nobody in their right mind comes here. A woodpecker! That gives me an idea. I will cross the woodpecker's brain with the ape's brain, and then I will make a flying ape. That will be my greatest achievement. Hello, dear. Would you like to subscribe to a magazine so I can go to camp? To camp, you want? This is the place. <laughs> a camping we will go. A camping we will go. Halt! We camp here. In the morning, we go on a hike. Now, everybody to bed. Come, come, come! Rockabye Woodpecker don't try to escape. When comes the morning, you look like an ape. Look like an ape? Rockabye ape, you don't whisper a word. When up comes the sun, you fly like a boy. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, everybody go to sleep. I'll sleep here. Now, good night. <sighs> Don't try to escape. When you wake up, you look like an ape. Hello, dear. Is this a professor? Yeah, this is a professor speaking. Well, we 
show made a monkey out of the professor. <laughs> dedicated to the unsung heroes that operate the weather stations in the deep, cold, polar regions of the Antarctic. Buried under snow and ice is the nerve center of the camp's headquarters. Stuart the captain, our food supply is running low. Repeat, our food supply is running low. Smedley! What kept you? I came soon as I could, sir. Well, fly over to Camp Crumpet and pick up a load of supplies. On the double! Yes, sir. <laughs> the captain. Ready for takeoff. Okay. And hurry back with those supplies. Roger. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Somebody's been making holes in the runway. I better tell the captain. Madly to Captain, there's a penguin making holes in the runway, and he's a fishing through the ice. Well, get rid of him, you nitwit. And if you don't, I'll, I'll tear <laughs> you to pieces. Gosh, he sure is the emotional type. <laughs> now, look at here, son. This here is government property, understand? And no fishing around here. Now, Grum, beat it. Sayonara. Catch one more fish? No more fish. Little bitty minnow? No little bitty minnow. <laughs> those holes in the runway, and then fly out and get those supplies. Aye, aye, sir. Gone, you pesky little critter. Get me out of here. your fault. Now the captain's real mad. Oh, too bad. You mad? You bet I'm mad. Me? 
I got mad. I guess the only way to get something done is to do it yourself. Smedley! Coming, Captain, sir. You stay here. I will get the supplies. Wind her up. Uh, yes, sir. Contact. Contact. <laughs> Contact, sir. Contact. Oh, for crying out loud. Um, I'll get it, sir. Oh, my God. Are you all right, Captain? What's the matter? Charlie, there's a mouse in the house. That's right. Send someone right away. How much will it cost? $25? All right. What costs $25? The exterminators, to get rid of that mouse. Forget it. I'll catch that mouse and save $25. What's Pop up to now, Mom? Here we go again. $25 to catch a mouse. Yeah, little mousey, come get your dinner. I got him! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, brother. I got him. Hey, Junior, bring the hammer. I got him. What'll I do, Pop? When I open my hand, you hit him. One, two, three. <laughs> Charlie, get down from that ceiling. Huh?
that mouse out of there. doing in the vacuum. I don't know what I'm doing in here. Just get me out. Oh, well, I, uh, I, uh, gee whiz. This time I'll blast him out. is gonna outsmart me. You want it exterminated. That rat! Nothing but trees. So go someplace. 
open it. Everglades. Hidden in its deep jungle of plant life lurks the deadly and savage alligator, ever in search for food. Uh-oh. Here comes my dinner. I wonder what's on the menu. Yummy, yummy. A big, fat, luscious, Welcome to Gabby Gator's Health Resort. Health Resort? Ugh. You're a sick, sick bird. I, I am? Man, you are sick, 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 sick. You are sick. <gasps> what you need is a mineral bath. You know something? I feel better already. Thanks for the mineral bath, chum. Top top. Hold it, Buster. You still got that sickly look. Here, lie in the sun, son. I'll put some color in your cheeks. He's a nice alligator. Wear these sunglasses and relax. Now, if you drop the sun lotion, a little tannin oil. Something cooking? Wait a minute. This ain't no 
no health resort. It's a cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, and you're my dish. No, 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 chum. You don't want to eat me. Look, I'm just a mess of bones. Here, take a closer look. Just bones, see? Now, if you're really hungry, I'll fix you a hamburger. Here you are. Happy appetite. Thanks. Just the way I like it. Plenty of ketchup. is the Arctic, bitter, bleak, freezing cold. Here ships are locked in the ice for months. Then food runs out, and strong, silent men hear pangs of hunger. Down, boy, down. Down, I say, down, down, down. The supply is only two days late, but up here, a day is six months long. The supply plane! Food! Food! Hey! Wait! 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 Drop it here! No, no! Over here! Hold it! Drop it here! Right on this box. <laughs> the goodies 
goodies are coming, the goodies are coming. <laughs> Son, what's on your mind? Uh, what are you looking at, boy? I say, what are you looking at? Somebody around here? I don't see nothing. Nobody here but us. I got a sneaking hunch. That little fella thinks I'm food. I'll have to set him straight. Now, simmer down, boy. Penguins don't eat dogs, and I am a dog. Woof, woof, see? <laughs> I think I got to him. I sort of think that boy's trying to cook me. I better do something quick. I'll send an SOS for more food. SOS, SOS, send pork chops, chicken, spare ribs, and waffles. It smells like waffles. It is waffles. Yummy, yummy. Received waffles, thank you. Boy, that was quick service. <laughs>
Rat Royal Elephant. I give you Pina. <laughs> Akunda wants more peanuts. Akunda, <laughs> he's gone. On his way to solve this colossal crime is that notorious master of mystery, Inspector Willoughby. That's me, folks. You sent for me, Roger. You said it, kid. Find my royal elephant. And I will pay you 60,000 rupees. I read you loud and clear. Raja and out. No one can hide an elephant from the great Willoughby. Oh, ho! Oh. Up, up! Get up, you big fat head! You are my elephant now. You will obey me! Hello? Do you have a stolen elephant in there? <laughs> Open in the name of... Quiet, you big blubber mouth! I've got to hide him, quick! Come on, get in that trunk and be quiet! Open up in there, you... Ah, there. You are under arrest. The old Indian rope trick. Now, how did he do that? If there is an elephant around here, I will find it. I will give the royal elephant mating call. Oh, 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 oh. I have to get him away from that trunk. Ah, the elephant trumpets. Fear not, Gunda. I will save you. Now, how did he do that again? Ow! Elephant feet prints. I am on the right track. Ah, the case is closed. Oh, pardon me. Did you see an elephant go by here? Yes, he went up there. <laughs> you ought to see a doctor about those feet. I don't see how an elephant can do this. <laughs> Just as I thought, a trap. Inspector Willoughby, famous criminologist and master of mystery. <laughs> That's me, folks. Just spread these peanuts, and when the elephant comes to get them, I will grab him. <laughs> now, who took those peanuts? Goodbye, Mr. Willoughby. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, 
here you are, Raja. Your royal elephant. Gonda, my beautiful baby! Come to Papa! Well, the case is closed. And now, the Indian rope trick.
scoop. Now smile, please. Sure, I'll laugh out loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Phew, that was close. Woodpecker's picture if it's the last thing I do. Hey, Woodpecker! Now, Spotty, you are gonna pose for the picture if I have to untie you. Now, give us a big happy smile. Why, sure, Stoop. Goop! Oh, I hate to look. Boy, what an action shot. Sweet little birdie. Mmm, boy, I just love popcorn. and then I'll feed you. Well, there's a deal. The crow dances, and the farmer feeds him. I gotta think of a plan. Hey, bub, do you like popcorn? Did you say popcorn? Uh-huh. What kind? Fresh, hot buttered popcorn. Did you say hot and buttered? Yeah, and sugar-coated, too. Did you say sugar-coated? <laughs> Where? New York. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks, pal. You're a pal. Goodbye, pal. Never mind. I'll shift for myself, Daddy-o. 
Hopefully is not himself today, I'm afraid. I better go see what he's up to. Why, that isn't Jubilee. That's a woodpecker. I shall have to throw a scare into him to teach him a lesson. Oh, man, am I gonna stuff myself. Be termite. Hey, where's my food? And what am I doing on a tray? I'm no entree. Of course not. You want to be stuffed, don't you? Right-o, Daddy-o. My little tummy needs stuffing bad with meat and potatoes. Say, I like you. Hey, what's with all the birds, Rufus? Oh, I stuff birds. That's my hobby. And this place is reserved for you. Uh huh? Uh huh? Uh, aren't you, uh, overlooking one little thing? You see, I happen to be a crow. Caw, caw, caw. Caw, caw. I hope I'm not overacting. Boo! 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 Now, my fine feathered friend, we shall go to the stuffing room. You will look fine, right there, stuffed with sawdust. I don't like sawdust. Uh, cracker crumbs? No, no, I'm too young to... All right. Promise you won't try to play crow anymore? Oh, I promise. Scout's honor. I never want to see another crow. You may go. <laughs> Jubilee, uh, welcome home. Did you see the sweet little old lady? And was she eating popcorn? Mm, sugar coated? And what did she give you? Get away from this cold country, I'll pr pr freeze to death. And now, folks, some Hawaiian music from the warm tropical shores of Hulahaka Hickey Island. Warm tropical shores? That's for me. I'm gonna find a lion, the tropic sun and sand. I'll pack my grub and gear and beat it out of here. I'll find a southern breeze, I'll clean the air and freeze. Discouraging her words, as cold as for the birds. I'll pack my gear and mush, leave all the ice and slush. So long goodbye, get lost, I'll head south and defrost. Just a minute, little feller. You can't go, you're a penguin. Penguins have to live where it's cold. If you went south, you'd melt. Goodbye, little pile. Harding gets me here. What's the matter? Don't you want me to go? Well, I'm gonna go. 
I can't stay here and freeze. Goodbye, little penguin. Bye. So long, pal of mine. Bye bye. for that welcome home stuff. I'm going to a warmer climate. A going away present for me? How nice. Hope it's something I need. Thanks. I'll open it later. Goodbye, little friend. <laughs> I just knew that boy would get around to helping me. That's a spirit tool. Hawaii, here I come. Contact. It didn't work. Any other ideas?
Jesse, what's the matter with that vacuum? I don't know, Charlie. It never did that before. I can't stand machinery that don't work properly. <laughs> A shot of oil will do the trick. There you are, my dear. Good as new. If you want anything done right, just call on old Charlie. Oh, you're so smart. Well, you didn't marry any old dummy, you know. Um. What's the matter with your dolly, Susie? I don't know, Daddy. He never did that before. Don't worry, sweetheart. We'll fix it in a jiffy. Here we are. Mama! What's the matter? I don't know, Pop. It never did that before. All it needs is oil, son. There. Try it now. That gulf is There's a cricket in there. Get out of there. Junior, come help me. You call me, Pop? Get this thing off of me. Junior, bring that bat over here. Oh, you crazy dumb nut. Well, I, I, uh, I just thought I, I mean, I... Junior. Give me that bat. Get out of here! Oh, boy. Someday I'm gonna... I got him. I got him this time. Hey, Junior, bring that bat over here. Okay, Pop. Now, when I nod my head, you hit it. Oh! 
Sunshine State, playground of the tired rich, the retired, and the just plain tired. Gabby Gator is always tired and always hungry. I am truly starving. Man, I, I got me a big one. <gasps> is my favorite. Oh, he do, does he? Well, shut my mouth on a woodpecker stew. Dear Woody Woodpecker, Hollywood, California, is your mouth a watering for some scrumptious southern home cooking? Does the thought of fried chicken, black eyed peas, hominy grits, and chitlins titillate your taste buds till you can't stand it no more? Then come south with your water and mouth. You was invited to be my guest. Signed, Chef Gabby Gator. This ought to bring him a running. Dinner is about to be served. Welcome to Gabby's Diner. Where's all that good old southern chow? Here's the first course. You'll start out with a jumbo-sized box lunch. Boy, oh boy, is my mouth watering. Hey, there's no lunch in here. There is now. <laughs> oh, this woodpecker going taste good. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, what's cooking? You'd be surprised, sonny boy. But sir, I came down here for some southern cooking. And that's what you're getting. This looks more like a New England boiled dinner. <laughs> What's the matter with that? Bowie, I'm getting out of here. Goodbye. Man, now I gotta get me an idea fast. I got it. Nice, juicy swamp steak. 
Swamp steak? It sounds good. What is it? Where are we going to get it? I'll show you. There you are. Where's the swamp steak? Oh, that's a surprise. Now turn around and hide your eyes. Man, I love surprises. Now that's what I call a real swamp steak. Now no fair peeking. Oh no, I wouldn't peek. Uh oh, we need more wood. I'll get it. There you are. Thank you. <laughs>